Oh, stay away from that. Red evening. Buy my shot. It's better than work. <laughs> Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to support the channel, you can become a member. Let's begin. Have you been robbed? Glad you're here. Glad to be here, Jack. Okay, I'm now right. I hear why you want the background music so low. I have the volume on my laptop lower. Now I hear ah, why. Ah, see? Now see? You're paying attention. You're learning. You're learning Padawan. Hmm. Look, go ahead. How, how have you been? How was your week? Not bad. Not bad. I mean, oh, God. What day was it? Well, it was actually last week, I think. I had a heart-to-heart -heart with the boss. And they're sort of listening and so my workload's not quite as fucking heavy as it has been because a couple weeks ago like two weeks ago today and the day before i took two days off because i was like fuck it i'm done okay i to call it mental health reasons or whatever you want <laughs> i need it to yeah i, I had a burnout it was because I'll tell you if I had gone in, I think I would have walked off the job. I think I would have fucking quit. Okay. And so when I had my performance review here not too long ago, uh, the boss, you know, and it, it, the performance review went pretty much as I expected it to. So there was no surprises there. But then she said, and it's a she, but she said, is there anything you'd like to add? And I was like, you just opened Pandora's box. And so I was like, you know, as a matter of fact, there is. And so I laid it out, you know, that I'm like, look, I'm fucked. I'm fucking burned out. I'm fucking tired of this shit. Okay. There's me and like two other dudes that do the, the heavy lifting when it comes to the workload. The other guys are a bunch of fucking dinks. And it's bullshit. And if it doesn't change, I know I'm going to end up walking. Mm -hmm. And probably at least one of these other guys is probably going to walk too. Because I've, I've talked to these other guys. And we're all fucking burned out. We're all fucking sick of it. We're all over it. We're all tired of it. Mm -hmm. So this week wasn't too bad. That I'm like, oh. You know, it, it's still a little heavy, but it's not like I'm killing myself to get it done. So that was nice. So I'm not going home fucking exhausted every mm -hmm. night. So that was good. Um, What else? Oh, my uh, Venezuelan girl. See? Okay. Huh? See? 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 Okay. Yeah, that's right. See? She's fun. She's I, I think I've mentioned her briefly. She's like four foot nine, dude. She's teeny. You can okay. throw her. <laughs> dude, I am a giant standing next to her. And I haven't, I don't think I've ever been out with a woman this short. I think the shortest I've ever been out with was like 4'11", 5 foot, 5'1", somewhere. Did you try to that. take her to a world saving quest to the east? Oh, I'll tell you what, dude. I, I, last night here's the thing okay so you know we got we have uh let them burn well mm. i tell nick and bull you know hey man i'm not gonna make it you know i'm in gmi so you guys are on your own mm -hmm. and then you tweeted earlier this morning about i just you know i'm glad i'm gonna be on the podcast with rob mm. you know it's, it's all, it's so, all tiresome. so tiresome it's right. so tiresome. And then Bull Rush is something along the lines of, yeah, that's what I thought about last night, too. You know, because everyone thought I was going to be there. And then, you know, about an hour before the show, I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to make it. And that's because I invited the Venezuelan chick over. See? Okay. See? Mm -hmm. See? Uh, well, her and I, there, there's definitely a language barrier to a degree because her English is not great, but it's better than my Spanish. My Spanish is absolutely atrocious. So, Espanol. Oh, oh, dude, it's it's rough, man. But I'll tell you what: you drink a couple of beers, you make a steak or two. You have some food, you have some time where you're not with a lot of background noise and a bunch of fucking distractions around you. Mm -hmm. And I start to actually understand her. 
but it's like I can, you know, I cut through the accent. And it's like, oh, okay, this is what the fuck she's saying. All right. And earlier, via text and whatnot, we've had some bumps in the road. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I and I'm thinking, because she was saying shit that was just kind of rubbing me the wrong way. That I'm just like, I'm not giving you a green card. No. No, no, no I don't I know like green that. card. I mean green paper. But, but it's one of them things that it was like. <laughs> I have a real hard time with commands and authority. And some of the shit she was saying was sounded like commands and authority. And I'm just like, ooh, you know, here's here's one of my sticking points. You know, you're you're fucking treading into deep water here with me. Breaking and I know water. I have an and I know I have an issue with it. I know I do. So I'm like, okay, is is she really saying this shit? Or is this me fucking having like a reaction to it? Which is so, funny you mention that because you and I both have jobs, but we're both kind of that don't tell me what to do attitude. Mm -hmm. And for some odd reason, it works at a job because you're that guy then. Yep. Where the boss is like, hey, if I just leave him alone, he gets shit done. Yep. I oh, yeah. Asked, my boss I, learned early to leave me the <laughs> fuck alone. <laughs> I, I'm here. I want my fucking cash. I'll do what you want at the end of the day, but don't tell me how. <laughs> yep, you don't need to hold my hand. I got this. Yeah, and and that's the same thing. But you know that also kind of tends to go into my personal life as well. That it's like, don't no, don't tell me what the fuck to do, you know. And so she had said some things where it it immediately hit that that mark that I'm just like, and I'm thinking, okay, do I do I open up a can of whoop ass right now or do i wait Listen, well, i decided to wait <laughs> i decided to wait because i thought you know she's coming over we're gonna have steak we're gonna have drinks it's gonna be a good time maybe and i'll see how she acts again not you know don't listen to what she says watch what she does okay and so i just kind of put it on the back burner and you know, this is me not stepping on my own dick here, guys. Mm. Because, you know, she comes over and she was incredibly submissive. Like I like a level of submission I haven't seen in, in a while that I'm just mm. like, holy shit. And that's where I realize, okay, so part of it's a language barrier, part of it's a cultural thing. And I get that, that it's like, okay, you're a Latin woman, you're from fucking Venezuela, you're off the boat. So there is a certain cultural thing going on here, and I get it. But basically, I just ignored it and just watched what she did. And even now, tonight, before I came on the show, she had to text me and say a bunch of shit. And I'm just like, yeah, you're 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 kind of griping right now, but last night you weren't. You were you were having a very very good time. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna ignore most of what the fuck you're griping about here because I I I think I have a better understanding of you now. So I'm not I'm not as concerned. Good. It's always nice right when you get off the texting thing no honestly here it's still bad here it's still bad i'm trying out new things i'm trying out new openers trying new methods things like that i might have a day tomorrow might but yesterday so okay um when was this yesterday was friday so thursday thursday we match i get the number of course because that's not that hard no, that, that doesn't count. No. And you got to get them in front of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she lives in the west of the Netherlands. And she tells me, well, I'm in the neighborhood, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, for how long? She's like, the day after tomorrow. I'm like, okay, then we're going to meet fast then. A couple of hours went by. She didn't respond or anything. I already was like, oh, whatever. She's like, well, change of plans. My roommate got tested positive for COVID, so I can't go back. So I have to do a PCR test. But if that's negative, I'd love to hang out with you. I'm like, sure, blah, blah, blah. I can do Sunday, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I don't know what it is with this one. She's either not on her phone or whatever. A couple of hours go by again. 
Yeah, that sounds good. Although I don't feel all too well, but I'll let you know. I'm like, oh, here we go again. To which I respond, I shouldn't have even responded. I don't know why I even did. I'm like, yeah, about that. Uh, sure. She's like, you think I'm not gonna? I'm like, honey, you're already mentioning you're not feeling well. I'm not holding my breath. She's like, oh, no, don't worry. I'm like, oh, okay, sure. I will be pleasantly surprised. By the way, guys, do as I say, not as I do, because that was pretty stupid on my end. But I was pleasantly at surprised. Least, at least you can admit your ego. Of course. Of course. I, I want to talk about that. Not that it relates to you specifically, but you're giving a great example. Yeah, but I do want to talk about that in a bit. But I want you to finish. Yeah. It's like, don't do that. Don't respond to it. But I did because I had a bit of an ego. And as of late, the flaking has been horrible. So I kind of had it up to here. I still stayed charming to a certain degree. However charming that can be. But I didn't, I didn't use foul language or whatever. I was just very aloof with it. Although more aloof would be not to respond. But I was kind of like, yeah, whatever. The thing is, I expressed it. That was dumb. But... She replied, actually, very, very kind or um, pleasantly surprised to my end, where it's like, eh, don't worry, I'll let you know, and blah, 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 and this and that. And she was actually very receptive. I'm like, okay, okay, let's see where this goes. But again, do as I say, not as I do, because when that shit happens, acta non verba. What is she actually saying? She's giving you an early frame announcement. I, al I already don't feel well. What does that mean? I have a backup right. plan. Well, and I want to make sure. Yeah. Okay. Here, here's the thing. And it ties into the Venezuelan chick. Okay. Mm -hmm. So on Wednesday, my, when, my Wednesday. So it would have been your fucking Thursday. Yeah, right? something like that. Tuesday. Yeah, whatever. something like that. Okay. That's when I had I had asked her something. We were talking about some shit. And and I assumed that she was doing something outside of work. The way she had talked about it the day before. Okay, I was like, so you know, when's this event? Oh, it's at this. Oh, where well, where's it at? And she's mentioning it was at work. And I give you this just for context. It, ultimately it doesn't matter. But I made an assumption that I thought her event was outside of work, that this was going to be in the evening. Mm -hmm. In fact, it happened at work, at her work. Oh, and I was like, oh, okay. Well, I just kind of dropped it. I was just more curious because I wasn't sure. I, I wasn't... I wasn't hinting at anything. I wasn't planning anything. I wasn't doing anything. It was just conversation. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, she comes back a little bit later with something along the lines of, oh, well, gee, I, I thought maybe you were going to ask me to go somewhere with you. And I'm thinking initially, the moment she said that, I'm like, what? But, and, you know, I'm like, what the fuck? And then I kind of had to scroll back and then it was like, oh, Okay, yep, I can see what she's talking about. All right, all right. So I was like, yeah, let's have dinner tonight, Wednesday. Okay. Mm -hmm. We'll have macaroni and cheese, homemade, my macaroni and cheese, that I'll, I'll put up against anyone. Hold, hold up, hold up. Wait a minute. You bring a girl over and do mac and cheese? What the hell, man? You don't do that. That's a beta move. Right. You, you take course. her out to a five-star restaurant. Otherwise, they won't w want to date you because she's got blue check marks hanging up her in the DMs, taking her out to lobster. You can't, you can't satisfy a woman with mac and cheese. <laughs> How dare you? Right. How dare you go right. against my marketing? <laughs> That's right. How dare you go against my ego? So I told her, hey, tonight, let's have mac and cheese. It's homemade. And I will put my recipe up against any fucking mac and cheese out there. And she basically came back with, I can't do it tonight. You know, tonight doesn't work for me. But how about tomorrow? Okay. How mm -hmm. about tomorrow? Thursday. And that's where I was like, I have a show. 
but I have a chance for pussy. What do I want? I want pussy. I want new pussy. So, of course, show goes bye-bye. Yep, I'm that motherfucker. That's, that's right. Vince... I think Vince ended up covering for me, but Bull Rush, Nick, there you have it, guys. But Nick understands. Bull might be a little butthurt, but Nick understands. But I'm the guy that, just like you mentioned flaking earlier, that flaking is at an all-time high. I always have a contingency. Okay. So number one, here's here's the deal, guy. I'm gonna give here's here's something for you guys in the chat and for the replay. Mm. Here's something I do when I plan like a dinner date at my house. Yes, sex is on the menu. It's assumed. Now I'm not gonna pressure for it. I'm not gonna push for it. But it's assumed, and she knows she's not stupid. Okay. Just like women know why you're talking to them, unless they're either incredibly naive or they're like 12, okay? But if they're over the age of like 14, they've already been hit on by a million dudes. Mm. So they know why you're talking to them. They know why you're there. You want to fuck them. They know that. Okay. At, so a certain, you know, at, a, at an older age. <laughs> right. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> okay. They okay. know why you're talking to them. So... You don't need to throw it in their face, number one. You don't need to be like, hey, you want some dick? You know, because they've already heard it. Okay. You well, want some that's, well, that's where most guys fuck up. Who is that? Not Eddie Murphy, the other guy. I um, don't know. God, what's his name? He has a great skit on that. Like, need some help with the groceries? Want some dick? Want me to carry right. that for you? Want some dick? Want me to open the door for you? Want some want dick? Some dick? Exactly. God, what's his name? What's his I, name? Don't, I know who you're talking about, and I can't remember if it was Chris. I think it was Chris, Chris Rock. Rock. Thank you. There you go. <laughs> anyway, let's get back here. All right, let's get back on topic here. So here's, here's my thing, guys. Here's how Rob, from all the years I've dated, and I've been ghosted and flaked on and all that shit, too. I've been you, there. You? You? But you're... Five foot seven giga chat. Who doesn't even need five the latest? Four. Oh, five, five four. Oh, five four. Let's I get. I wasn't it right. sure. I wasn't no, sure. No, I'm five four, dude. Okay, so here's the thing. So I've learned some things in all that experience. Okay, number one, I always have a contingency plan. Always. Okay, whether it's another woman, which is possible, or it's just. Oh, you know, okay, so like Wednesday night, I went out and bought all the groceries. It's like I bought the steak, I bought a couple of ingredients that I was missing for the mac and cheese, all that. Now, I bring it all home, put it in the fridge, and that's where it sits. Thursday comes along. We're chatting a little bit, and then after I get off work, I texted her and said, you know, I hope you're hungry, you know, because I'm hungry. You know, because I was. It's like, fuck yeah, I'm hungry, man. I've been working all day. I'm, I'm ready to eat. Mm -hmm. She comes back with, well, I'm not really that hungry. Oh. Okay, well, I can do small portions. It's no big deal. No response. No nothing. So, I just laid the question out on the table. Do you want to come over or not? Okay. Meanwhile, I haven't I haven't started cooking anything. It's all still in the fridge. Okay. Her answer will determine the future. The entire future, all of it. She could say, "Yeah, I'm still coming over." Okay. Game on. She could say, "Well, you know, I got blah blah blah." To which point, I've got two ribeye steaks sitting in the fridge. I've got all the ingredients for my world-famous mac and cheese. I've got everything. Everything. I do. So I'm waiting on her to come back and give me an answer one way or another. Well, she comes back with, oh yeah, I'm still coming over. I'm just not really hungry. Okay, so it's game on still. 
easy because instead of having to cook two steaks, now I'll cook one and just give her a portion of one. And the mac and cheese, I'll make my full size. I'll make the full, the, the amount I make. Hey, that's fucking leftovers, man. You know, she doesn't want to eat a lot of it. That's fine. That's more for me later. Because here's the thing. Here's the contingency. Let's say she said, oh, I can't come over because of blah, blah, blah. I just said, oh, okay. And, and I would have said, maybe another time. Maybe. And then I would have kept everything in the fridge because tomorrow night, the belly dancer is coming over. And this, I know, she's not canceling on me. She likes steak. She likes my mac and cheese. She likes to fuck. What a strange combination, by the way. Mac and cheese it, and steak. Oh, dude, it is so good. You just, you have no idea. No, I, I believe you. I never really thought of it. Although, like, you Americans, <clears throat> and this is not condescending, but it's something I noticed. Like, you got grilled cheese, mac and cheese. Like, it's always something and just cheese. Now, in the Netherlands, we've got, like, <clears throat> we've got the grilled cheese. We call it a tosti, but it's with ham as well. Ooh. Yeah, it's like... No, no, that sounds good. It's like everything with molten cheese has meat in it as well. Mm -hmm. Because that is just the best combination bacon. ever. Like, Put fucking bacon in it, dude. It, it's like... No, mostly ham. Or like with uh, the mac and cheese, it's spam. No, I get what you're saying. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it's always like, it's not just cheese. Although you've got... <sighs> it's so... It's such a shame. I can't translate this in English. I call them Wendel Tafius. Wendel Tafius. Like, your basic Starbucks bitch with Uggs and things like that. We used to have a school cafeteria and you could get the Tosties. So, grilled cheese with ham. Every fucking time. They stand there and like, can I have a, like, a Tostie without the ham? It's like, then it's not a Tostie. It's not Speaking of that, have you ever heard of a, a strope waffle? Yeah, that's typical Dutch. Okay, the belly dancer, her family makes that shit because yeah, they're from I, the Netherlands. Really? So I have strope waffles here. Yeah, you're you're embarking on my territory, so to say. You're infiltrating. <laughs> See, well, I've, I've forgotten to mention that to you a few times because the belly dancer knows. One about of mine you. is three Americans, Rob. <laughs> yeah, well, she she knows about the show. She knows that I do this show with you and that you're in the Netherlands. Well, her family comes from the Netherlands. Her really? parents were originally from the Netherlands. They were refugees from World War II. Okay. Really? Yeah. So her parents, which they're both deceased now, but mm. they were from the Netherlands. And so they brought their culture, customs, all that stuff. And one of the things that her siblings know how to do is throw balls. And so, as a gift, she gave me some, and oh my god, they were fucking good. Does she still have the accent? No, no. My The belly dancer grew up here in the United States. Oh, she okay. was born and raised here. Mm. It was her parents who have the accent. Mm. So, but she, she has asked me a couple of times. So, when you and Jack talk, have you, have you, have you mentioned that you have strobe waffles? And I'm like, ah, oh, shit, I fucking forgot. But now that you're mentioning different things, it reminds me. But in all honesty, you're actually pronouncing it pretty well. Yeah. <clears throat> because most most English people do it stroop or waffles. Well, see, but you she's the, the one that right. told me. She's the one that told me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because her parents taught her. You know so who else? She said it's pronounced throat waffle. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, of course. Dude, they are so fucking good. I'm like, wow, man, this is. Have good you shit. like? Have you had them cold or have you had them heating up? Both. Nice. I've had like, both. You, I, you, I had you don't them want them fresh. too hot. Well, yeah. yeah, no, you let them cool off a little bit, kind of like Otherwise, you let a steak rest. Yeah, but I've had them fucking fresh, and I've also had them cold, and and they're good either way. I'm just like, oh my god, this is some good shit here. Yeah, but mm. I, I, I've had strope waffles now, dude. I've still got some. 
So I'm like, oh shit, I, I might have to break one out and show it to you. So yeah, no, then that's pretty Dutch, true. Although, like some people say it's Swedish or whatever, but it's not. It, it's no, it's it's Netherlands. It's 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 Dutch. Uh, same with the stupid French, no, uh, Swedish pancakes. Like PewDiePie had a whole video on Swedish pancakes. I look at them and it's like, that's just Dutch pancakes. That's European. Like that's not just Swedish. Well, you this is loving. PewDiePie you're talking about too. I do so. like them. Yeah. No, I'm not if saying you're that watching you're wrong, Felix. but you know, but PewDiePie is American. Have so. you? No, PewDiePie is Swedish. Is he really? Yes. Have you Get seen his? Have you here. seen his wife? By the way, oh, she's wow. a smoke show. Wow. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I've I mean seen he, her. he's not ugly himself. I no, mean, no, he's not a bad-looking <laughs> dude. But, but yeah, I just love it how Pewds goes against all the alpha male peak advice, and his wife is just. First of all, she looks adorable. Yeah, no, she dude, absolutely. She's a smoke show. She's a smoke yeah. show. Yeah, and like when uh, the wedding photos and things like that, when those came out, you can just see her in his frame, things like oh, that. Yeah. It's like all your fucking peak alpha male advice just goes out the fucking window. Fuck well, you know, and that's what's funny. That's that's you're tying into something I want to finish up with here. Mm. Okay, and it, and I tweeted about this, I think yesterday, where I said. Your ego will prevent you from getting more sex than anything else in your life. Okay. And that was more a note to myself than it was me, you know, doling out the wisdom and the platitudes to the unwashed masses. Hey, Chris. Yeah. What's that? Chris is black. Oh, hey, Chris. What's up, dude? Needing Jason kid. But the thing is, and, and this is this is the point I want to get to, okay, is there's all these alpha male strategies and you know green lines and don't lean in bro and oh you just need to leave her on red and you need to do this and you need to do that and all i'm seeing and hearing now when i think about it which this is not new but it's just kind of you keep revisiting it what is old is new again it is but what i've come to realize is oh this is a bunch of dudes a their fucking egos getting in the way and b they're not getting sex because their ego is getting in the way hmm. okay now does that mean you need to throw out all of your standards and all that stuff and be a complete simp and a doormat no you don't need to do any of that you can still have your fucking dignity you can still say you know whoa nope that ain't happening but if you're listening to all this horse shit on the internet, on Twitter, all it is is a bunch of dudes fucking flexing their egos and, and they are stepping on their own dicks. They're getting in the fucking way of themselves. Because I even think about it like with the Venezuelan chick. There was so many times during a few conversations where I wanted to jump in and be alpha Rob, you know. Oh, well, uh, uh, you're not going to. And all that would have gotten me is bye. And so I just thought, you know what? No, shut up. Just ignore it. And wait and see what developments happen. Okay. And that even happened all the way up till last night where I was like, tonight's going to be the night to make or break anything. I'm going to know if I want to keep seeing this chick for real or not. Mm -hmm. She came over. So, hey, that's a plus one for mm -hmm. her, you know, in her <laughs> favor. And instead of this kind of alpha princess and making commands type of bullshit that she was doing on text, on text. Man, she comes over and she's immediately submissive. Mm -hmm. She's immediately like helping me out and wanting to participate and, and earn her own keep, so to speak. She was very kind, very pleasant, very demure. Okay, but yet in text, she's this, you know, strong, independent wham and don't need no man fish bicycle that Aaron Clary loved on about. Yeah, he loves to go on about that. Okay. So, yes, by her text game, she's one of these insufferable fucking women. Okay. 
And if I let my ego get in the way of that, if I took her literally and seriously, I would have shot myself in the dick. Okay, not just stepped on it, man. I would have shot myself in it. I'm instead, <laughs> yeah, I shot the penis, you know. But I did but not instead, shoot the <laughs> <laughs> There you go, you know, but I did not lean in, bro. You know, there, there's the line. So what it is, is I decided to shut the fuck up. Mm. Just shelve it all. That it's like, oh yeah, it's all there, but I'm just going to shut up and shelve it and see what happens mm -hmm. because what do i want well i want her to come over i want to have a few laughs have a couple of drinks and have sex okay that's how what i you. want <clears throat> how dare you how dare me right but you know all the alpha male guys and all the fucking wannabe you know oh well god rob you're in her frame and blah 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 yeah you cocksuckers in your egos shut up Okay, because she came over, we had drinks, we had sex, we had a good time. I'm not gonna lie, but like, if there's red pill for the enemy, for the any man, it's kind of this. It really is, mm -hmm. you know. And and that's the thing that I've and and again, what like you said, what is old is new, but it's just another one of those moments where it's like you you have these continual moments of clarity, mm -hmm. okay. Because it's a spiral. You go around and around and around. Okay. The first time you didn't see it and it hits you upside the head. The second time you saw a part of it. The third time you saw even more. The fourth time you saw more. And by the fifth time, hey, I think I, I, I think I understand this particular thing, whatever it is. Okay. And that's where it's like, I've seen so many guys fuck shit up. And it's not because they're not jacked, not ripped, not alpha. It's their fucking ego. The the jacked part will only get you so far. Any of it will only get you so far. When your fucking ego gets in the way, dude, it, I don't care. You could be, you know, fucking Andrew Tate. You yeah. could be, you know, the MMA fighting guy where you got Lambos and all the money in the world and all that shit. But if your fucking ego gets in the way, you still ain't getting any. Exactly. You should. I know, there's a couple of instances where you see him interacting with girls on the podcast and things like that. He's actually pretty charming to them. He is far from the the. Um, how do I phrase this? There is way less bravado, when right? He, and not saying it's always bravado, but when he's like interacting with a girl, he is way more charming. He's way more subtle. Thing. Yeah, he's probably putting his fucking ego aside. Mm -hmm. Okay. And instead that's of, the thing. Instead yeah, of, oh, I you know what? Alpha male, I got a posture from my bros. Yeah. Well, I got a posture know, from my bros. You're a hypergamous creature, and that means it's like, what? Right. What the hell are you talking yeah, about? Not only are you a spurg, but you're an egotistical spurg. All right. With you, everything is transactional. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Okay, but that's that's the thing I've, you know, for me, that I've had to kind of have that come around again, you know, that, oh, here we are again. And it's not for the other guys out there. This was my thing for me because I'm looking at my interaction with this woman. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh, okay, I'm getting all fired up and pissed off and I want to alpha male her and leave her on red and all this other bullshit. And instead, I was just like, you know what? How about you act a little less egotistical? You just let it go. It's not a problem until it is. You have a backup plan. You already know what you're doing on Saturday, so fuck it. This chick's either going to show up or she's not. Don't give her a reason to not show up. Or as Rolo would say, because everyone loves our godfather... Don't give her a reason to not fuck you. Let her figure that out on her own. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know which one. I'm going to grab that strope waffle real quick, Jack. I'll be right yeah, back. Go you got to see this thing. It's it, You're, you're going to love this. Dutch pride coming in. From yeah, that's States. right. Coming up. <clears throat> I just hope to God it isn't a German thing like most Americans do. This is what I hate about Goldfinger and... 
um, Transformers 2 Revenge of the Fallen, where it's like, oh, this is Hans, he's Dutch. And then he proceeds to talk in German, where it's like, mother. Uh, but oh well, Hollywood representation of Dutch. But like, this is how you treat your ancestors. Yankee comes from Young Case, which are two Dutch names. Just saying. You owe us. But oh well, you're not even a thousand years old yet. So. Who can blame you? <laughs> oh, you had one civil war. <laughs>, Laughs in 80-year-old war. <laughs> okay, show it. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a big one. Damn. Nice. That's a thick-looking strobe waffle. Yep. There we go. Yep. Roll waffle. They're good, aren't they? Yo, dude, these are so good. It's a miracle I ain't fat. Mm. Plenty of, yeah, there's plenty of Dutch food where it's like, oh, yeah, this is good. Yeah, this... Dude, these are fucking good, man. Mm-hmm. Homemade strobe waffle. Yeah, and then you have speck kuchen, which is kind of like that, but it's just one side. Okay. So there's no strobe in between them. Okay. Uh, what else you got? Poffertjes, which is kind of oh, like... Oh, I heard you say, I hope to God this isn't like some German whatever. I, I heard you say that. Shit. I know, I know you hear so me. Does this pass? Does this yes. pass the test? yes. Yes. So this is an authentic strobe waffle. Though. Well, it is Americanized, I see, well, because it's yes. a bit bigger. Right. Bigger. Yes. <laughs> because, of course, everything in America is bigger. I wish. Well, you know what I would like? If the waistline stays the same and the rest is just bigger. <clears throat> because I really hate this. I was, uh, like, one of my friends, he looked up the average cup size in the Netherlands. It's like, Jack, what are you complaining about? But, like, the average cup size is D. And I'm like, yeah, but the average weight is 74 kilos. <laughs> that doesn't count. <laughs> that doesn't count. And overall, the Netherlands are pretty flat. In all honesty. It's like, oh. Yeah? Yeah. Man, in all honesty, it's overall pretty flat. Hmm. Hmm. Not here. Uh, I'm talking like I want the waistline to be like this. Oh, like I get it. Big figure. <laughs> but oh well, I can't have that because I want it and I can't. Because God hates you. Pretty much. Like even Watson nowadays is saying it. He's like, well, you are you. So <laughs> what happened today? <laughs> it's like, oh, well, everything went well until. <laughs> <laughs> Everything went went well until it didn't. Mm -hmm. Pretty much, pretty much, like until it didn't. Hmm. <laughs> uh, that's just the way it is. You enjoying mm. that, old man? Oh fuck, dude! I so am. How much do you still have? I still have two more of these. Did you give one to the Venezuelan chick? No. These are mine, dude. Are you fucking kidding me? Good man. Good man. <laughs> dude, the belly dancer gave these to me. These are fucking mine. Nice. To go along with your uh, retweet earlier about chick paid for some dude to fly out to see her. This is kind of like that. Yeah, it's like pay her. No, let her pay to fly you over. That's the That's the part you want. Like with the whole Tinder swindler thing. It's like Ryan's outburst was just so amazing. It's like, fuck you guys. All of you. All of you were sitting there saying bitches and shit. And look at these stupid women and blah, blah, blah. Not one of you. Not one was like, holy shit. What was this text game? Fuck you. <laughs> okay. Now, <clears throat> I'm glad you brought that up. Mm -hmm. Have you seen the movie, the documentary, The Tinder Swindler? Have you seen it? No, I knew what it was about. Okay, no, 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 hang on. I've seen it. Okay. I watched it from the very beginning to the ending credits. And I've seen a lot of different takes on it. And I would say 98% of those takes, nobody has sat there and watched the fucking documentary. Because if they had, they would come up with some different conclusions. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
his text game, because there was some of it that they showed, okay? Because the women who were the victims are in this documentary, okay? This isn't like a a mockumentary or well, a drama. Yeah, that, that, that I know about it. Like, it, yeah. is, it is the okay. real life. It, these uh, are the real people. Here's what he really said, yada, 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 okay? When I saw his text game, now I'll give him credit for this. He automated it. Okay. So all the bullshit he was saying, he was saying it to all of them. Okay. So he was efficient as hell. I'll give him that one. Okay. But really, his text game was mediocre at best. Okay. I'm looking at it going, fuck, I got better text game than this dude. Look, let me be clear. Old text game is mediocre. You know why text game works? Why? Art of seduction. For someone yes. to for to seduce someone, one must want to be seduced. To be seduced. Absolutely. Look, if you see my text with the girls I banged, you you'd be like, "Oh, what kind of cringe is that?" But it works because in that situation, it is relevant. It's all but contextual. You, but when you take it all out of context, it's like oh, oh, cringy. Oh, you think that works? Me? Again, your ego is getting in the way. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, I do want to add something though, where this guy had an advantage. That does not make him like this suave, seducing playboy guy. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it was his deception itself. The fact that he came out and engineered the, the, the reality that he was the son of a diamond magnate. Mm -hmm. Okay. So when women did their background research, they found information that appeared to be accurate and truthful that he is the son of a diamond magnate which mm -hmm. means the family is loaded okay and that's why he can jet set on instagram and all the bullshit that he was doing okay the one thing that i'll say you know i i even even rollo was talking about kind of like how great this guy's game must be and i'm like yeah except there's one problem and that is he's set these women up with the false expectation that he's a multimillionaire so that when he runs into problems, which he does, and he asks them for money, which he does, they give it to him because a lot of it is based on the presumption that, well, he's good for it. He's the son of a diamond magnate. They're loaded. So if I write him a check for 25000 or I take out a credit card for $100,000 and give it to him, I fucking mail it to him. Part of it is the, the expectation that, well, you're, you're good for it, mm -hmm. okay? Because you're the son of a diamond magnate, okay? Even if his game is solid, mm -hmm. but he's... A middle class dude. He's like you and me. He's earning 40,000 euros a year or something like that. There ain't no goddamn chick in the world that's going to turn around and give you a fucking credit card with a 100,000 euro fucking limit on it. Mm -mm. Because you ain't good for that kind of money. Well, the thing is, that's what this entire documentary proved for. Ryan brought that up as well. Ryan said, they only showed the chicks who had worked on. And those were right. three. How many chicks did it? Oh, God. How yeah. many times did he fail? They didn't right. show that because that shit doesn't sell. No. And, and like they I didn't mentioned, show more women that it did work on, too. No. They didn't um, show others. But you're but, right. They, they didn't talk about the failures. And what I just mentioned, for one to be seduced, one was, one must want to, to be, be seduced. seduced. Yep. Right well, guy, right guy, uh, right, right guy in the right place at the right time. Boom. Well, it ties into a book I read years ago called "You Can Never Cheat an Honest Man." That's the title of the book, guys. You know that are taking notes. Go look that up. Go look it up on Amazon. It's called "You Can Never Cheat an Honest Man." Mm -hmm. Okay, it is a book on con games. 
all the old griffs, all all the stuff that you think. Ah, that yeah, it's 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 all these old classic cons. Okay. But the premise, the big part of the book, the big takeaway, which is in the title, is that you can't cheat someone who doesn't have, you know, if they want for nothing, if they're like, no, man, I'm good, you can't cheat them. Okay. Doesn't matter how elaborate and how good your con is or how big of a long game it is, it doesn't matter. But that's they're not why wealth, fitness, and sex. Those are the three guys. things that work so damn well. This is why I hate the fitness industry and the manosphere. Oh, yeah. Both of them. Because the fitness industry has been like overrun by supplement sellers, yep. fake natty claimers, and bullshit exercise schedules. All yep. of them are moronic. Yep. Sorry, 90% of them are moronic. The only guy I trust other than myself is Drew Bay. And I trust yeah. Drew more than myself with things. The only thing we disagree on... Now, you know what? I don't even disagree with him. His method works to a yep. T. The only thing I would say is it is not the only method that works. Right. No, but there's... By there's God, a... have I tried to do one rep and take 20 seconds on it. I could squat almost 315. I had 135 on that bar and took 20 seconds for one rep. I was broken. That takes the shit out of you. So Drew is on something. Oh, yeah. Like well, and, and the one thing I will give Drew, too, besides when you look at, you know, the dude is a dinosaur, how big he is, okay? The guy works dude. out. How and tall is he? I don't remember. He's not super tall. No, he's he, not like six three or anything. He he comes across to me as like Elliot Hulse. Did you know like Elliot Hulse is shorter than I am? Oh wow! I well, used no, to I used to have I, a photo of him and me. By the way, and I, I would I would not doubt that that Drew's probably shorter than you. Yeah, I think he surprised. is. But he's like built he's, like a brick. Yeah, he's huge. Okay, he he obviously practices his own method. Okay, and I know one thing I will give Drew as well to add to what you're saying is that as you get older, his exercise regimen, his routine is better for older men than it is, you know, when you're younger. Because you're not going to tax your body, your joints. You're not going to do shit where you're going to fucking hurt yourself. Also for younger. Because you're older. doing lighter weight, but you're doing slower reps and well, stuff. Well, same here. Like with my guys. Uh, hold on, by the way. Real, Sorry, real quick shameless plug. But with my guys as well, if there's one thing I noticed, it's the whole... Um, perform your reps slower even for the younger guys and if you're interested in that i have a spot free in my uh, monthly consultation group so go over there people have been losing weight gaining strength all of that but if there's one thing i want guys to do is to slow the reps down like you don't have to do 20 seconds over one rep but do it controlled you want yep. control over it as long yep. as you have that you're gonna be fine but a lot of especially with squatting it's just drop it down like yeah drop the ass down go back up and you get this weird that well kind of and that's where, where like, you also throw more weight on because you're pistoning up pistoning down and you're just gonna hurt yourself yeah you want to feel everything contract whereas yep. like you want to control the weight you don't want the weight to control you which is happening a lot with guys right well, and, and to tie this back into the you can never cheat an honest man and back to the Tinder swindler as well, mm -hmm. going back to you Bye can't that. seduce someone that doesn't want to be seduced. Mm -hmm. Okay, It all ties in. Okay, so not to, you know, victim blame because, hey, you know, you didn't know or rather you didn't know about the guy that was offering the supplement or the, the workout routine or it's the guy who comes off as the diamond magnate, you know, and say, hey, I'm a jet setting playboy, multimillionaire, but I'm interested in you. Okay. Not to victim blame here, but at the same time, 
know your own weaknesses know what you want and know that whatever it is you want that is potentially a vulnerability that you I have vulnerability that oh you're really interested in working out and 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 getting fit getting in shape that is great but it also makes you vulnerable to guys that are going to offer you a quick way or a surefire way to do this you know you are vulnerable just Men. like women that want to look for love are vulnerable to being seduced by fucking con guys men raised as defective women right there it is and i love that have you ever seen avatar the last airbender no it's a great cartoon it really is i mean say whatever you want it's a kid show blah blah whatever it has good story good morals whatever go watch that but there's a, there's a quote in season two and i fucking love this where like the uh the obi-wan kenobi character goes like is it your own destiny or is it a destiny somebody else picked out for you what do you uh, want right what do you what want? do you want that is the best quote in that show by the best character in that show and i keep seeing that nobody really knows what they want well and that's that's the biggest problem that's that's the thing where i've encountered that's where marketing comes in because they oh, know of course you want. you want wealth you want fitness and you want sex that's what you want and i great noble noble person that i am can provide it to you it's like well, of course yeah, yeah, yeah. you, you like, give them a problem and then you sell them the solution that's why and i told ryan this as well and you know about this as well where it's like yeah you know what i could have upped my style long time ago i could have upped my living situation a long time ago yet here i am still content with where i am it's like yeah i'm going to Por portugal doing a workaway project living like a bum in sort of commune but it's going to be fun and i'm going to enjoy myself because the weather is a lot nicer no the other shit eh, whatever i go okay i don't want supercars i don't want jewelry i don't want brand clothing brand clothing really is the biggest pile of like money waste there is it is it's a scam wow yeah what brand clothing is just the biggest effing scam out there i'm i'm still on tanner guzzi's newsletter and he had a post about gym clothing and why it does matter and i'm like no it doesn't it really does not oh but it shows you care about yourself i am squatting over 225 you think that doesn't show i care about myself yeah what? who are you training for to look good in oh, sorry to look good with your clothing or to look good with adam it's like i've got more respect for the jack guy in a fucking slayer t-shirt than i got for the scrawny motherfucker who runs marathons in a under armor t-shirt like, oh god off. yeah <laughs> that's that you know and that to go back to like the Venezuelan chick and the tweet that I said either yesterday or the day before when I said, you know, your ego will prevent you from getting more sex than anything else in your life. Okay. Yeah, it ties into the uh, the red pill sidebar with the and I and I did a whole thing about this a while back about not giving a fuck. Okay. Mm -hmm. We all talk about hypergamy and frame and alpha beta and all that shit. And everybody loves it and knows it. It's their favorite chapter and verse. Okay. But if we everyone, say it three times, Rolo shows up. Did you know? I, I believe that. I'm waiting for him to show up now. No, we've okay. only said it two times, I believe. Hypergamy. Oh, God. No, don't. <laughs> okay. But the thing is, there's this little article way down at the bottom of the sidebar that talks about not giving a fuck, basically. I can okay. look that up. Where are you? Here it is. Well, and I did a blog post on it, man. I yeah, think no, I might I have even done a video because it is the truth. And it's the one area that most guys have read it and they go, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just don't give a fuck. And then they Wait, blow it off. How to stop giving a fuck what people think of you or what's it called? I think that's it. Yeah? Okay, because I got it right here. I've got the uh, whole archive in front of there's, me. There's 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 a section in it where the author, and I forget who it is, but the author says, like, 
you can be fat and out of shape and good with it and you get more ass you know that guy will get more ass than you do oh yeah i know i don't think this is the one it's a lengthy one but no this one's not super long no then that uh i have to go to the trp itself yeah you do yeah <sighs> Oh, whatever. It doesn't Dante. matter. Dante looked that up. Yeah. Okay. But it's the, the point is when you don't give a fuck, you know, when, you, when you're genuinely good, you, you want for nothing. You're that honest guy, so to speak. You can't be cheated. Okay. You can't cheat an honest man. Okay. It's the same here. When you set aside your ego, you set aside your bullshit all your bros before hoes commandments, all that nonsense. And, and you know, that, and it's funny because I think it was Tempest who mentioned, you know, what happened to bros before hoes? And I know he was joking. I know mm -hmm. he was joking. Okay, so I'm not like, you know, trying to pick a fight or anything. But it's the idea that there is that code, you know, the bros before hoes. And yet I look at that and go, well, who, who said that? I didn't say that. That's not my code. That's somebody else's code. Who's somebody we? Up. Yeah, who is we? Okay. And that was, you know, not to uh, divulge anything that we were talking about backstage, but it ties into what we were talking about backstage what you and I were talking about mm -hmm. that would really black pill a lot of guys mm -hmm. that it's like, you know, when I hear all these guys with all their codes and their conduct and thou shalts and all I can think besides who's we besides that, that's one of the first ones is who's we motherfucker. I mean, the next thing I look at is wait a minute. What do I want? I've had it a couple of times where I, talked about my exploits and i said well i took her to kfc and people lost their minds you took her to kfc what? like you don't fuck exactly you don't. you don't that's ego getting in the way and that's that is that is definitely guys who don't fuck. i had the greatest time with my former main play where we were sitting at home playing video games the two of us and we were like Oh, how long has it been since we went to Burger King or whatever? Like, ah, that's been a while. Well, we went on our bike, bicycle. Not yeah, some bicycle. Supercar. Yeah, you're not on a, on a motorcycle. You're on uh, a bicycle. Uh, I, I rode the bicycle. She was on the back of it. We drove to Burger King. We had fun because Burger King had some new bacon and cheese fries. We had those. And we Ooh. were like... We were like, eh, were they any good? Oh, not really. Things like that. Oh, well, the burger was nice. Yeah, no, that's true. We had fun with it. And then we went back home and played Legend of Zelda. Because I bought her that for her birthday. She wanted that. I didn't even know that she wanted it. I think I figured it out by myself. I can't remember. That's what we did. Oh, but she's not a high quality. Whatever. Whatever. You're not a high quality man. Whatever. I have my investments in order back then already. All I have to do is wait. So fuck you and fuck off. Well, and like I said the other oh, day, too, by the way, you know, you know what she arranged for me as well? Mm. Threesomes. Oh, even yeah. though I took her to Burger King. Oh, there you have it. Okay. She must be a low quality woman. Yes. You know what? I'm a low quality guy. She was a low quality woman. Well, you know what? Stuck in the middle with Poon. Fuck off. <laughs> what do you? You, you want. want okay oh i showed her to you the main place yeah yeah the one with the ship yeah <laughs> where she was sitting like what the hell is this yeah. <laughs> she built oh i know who you're talking me. about i know who you're talking about <laughs> that's a that's great I mean. photo by the way i still have it that is. one that she is just looks at that thing like like some oh, cat God. who's about to <laughs> put it over like meh nah. So, guys, realize that when you see motherfuckers on the internet talking about as a quality man or as a quality woman, yada, yada, blah, blah. 
Number one, stop and look at it, especially when they go, well, we need to do this. Who is we? Exactly. Okay. Who's they? No, we, we need to do this. Who's we, motherfucker? I don't know you. You know? they're Dude, they're, they're trying to recruit you to their cause. Yep. And, and it I comes right. back to what do you want? Is it your destiny? Or is it and just someone else lay on you? There you go. Yeah, because most of the time, it's somebody no. else's fucking plan. It's not yours. It's someone else's. Whether it's church or it's the state or it's the whammon or it's some asshole on the internet telling you how to be an alpha male. Okay. What do you want? Does it tie in? I mean, if, if you guys are running parallel, you, you know, yeah, I, I do want the same thing. Make sure that it's not because you've been programmed to be, oh, yeah, that's what I want. No, ask yourself seriously, is this what I want? Exactly. I mean, there was there was motherfuckers earlier today that, you know, that I'm 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 about ready to call them out and be like, look, dude. If you're going to have the name Degenerate Day Gamer for the win, you probably ought to not be talking about women are low quality because they have tattoos because that is kind of antithesis. To your Look at game. this man. Look at this man. Dunkin' Donuts. Look at this guy. I Fucking he tat. did some Dunkin'. I bet he did. I'll I bet, bet he, he did dunked. too. I See? bet he dunked him real good. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Okay. And for my southern audience, yes, that was cultural appropriation. I don't care. See, I'll tell you that. what. You know, guys talk about Chad. You know that 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 in, that ephemeral fucking demon that we all have to face. Chad Elkins is Chad for real. Chad okay. Elkins does not give a fuck. Also, no, he really doesn't. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> <sighs> Let me be very fucking clear. I hate these statements, but I do got to make them. I do have to make them. Like, okay. you, can, you can sit here and say, I'm so red pill. Blah, 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 blah. Take women out to dinner, otherwise they don't take you seriously. Okay, Mr. Red Pill Alpha Male. Hear me out on this one. If you are so red pill, then why are you taking, out to, taking her out to dinner in the first place? Shouldn't you know that real genuine desire isn't negotiable? And shouldn't you know that dinner doesn't really matter and oh, shouldn't you sense. know that dinner is off the table until she's deserved it tell me riddle me this bat pill, <laughs> or bat pill. red like. man riddle me this red man <laughs> why are you talking transactional anything when you should know that if she's really into you that shit doesn't matter oh nice ryan chung but popeyes dude i, I popeyes love one. these guys in the chat tonight they're like i took her to hooters i took her to burger oh, king oh, i i oh. fucking took her to dunkin donuts took her to popeyes dude, this oh my god you guys thank you thank you for well, real i've Sincerely, been to popeyes thank once you. for the um buttermilk biscuits but it was at the airport in istanbul <laughs> but the buttermilk biscuits were like not fresh so i had a bad experience so i do want to go to paul pies when i come over oh dude we'll go to popeyes we'll we'll figure something out we'll yeah. get you there and we're gonna approach dude, we're paul gonna pies. eat so we're gonna eat so many so much fucking junk food you're gonna go home and you're gonna like have to work out like 24 oh, 7 no. i i have my methods for that Oh, I know you do, but I'm just saying you you you're gonna just you're gonna you're gonna love it and hate it simultaneously. It's mm -hmm. gonna be good. Gonna wear a white shirt, have those greasy pit stains. Oh yeah, we'll get you in a wife beater, dude. It'll be fucking. Oh, at small. least then you won't have the pit stains. Right. Then whatever you want. Yeah. Dude, you know I want to see Chad Elkins in a fucking wife beater because I'll bet you he can own that shit. So. Maybe a little more work on the shoulders, but I don't that. know. I don't think he needs it. I think he's fine. Yeah, but I mean, shit. This is where my whole coffee at the grocery store comes from. This is where it comes because I've kind of like I've kind of reassessed my whole approach to the whole. I want to get a drink first with you now. Normally, I'd say, 
with you because I've had girls show up here, things like that. But the thing is, there are girls who would love to show up at your place, but they just want to be sure you're the guy she thinks she is. Mm -hmm. She just wants to meet up somewhere mm -hmm. in public just mm -hmm. in case. Mm -hmm. Now, the way to filter that out is to go with the least amount of investment as possible. Yep. Where it's public, but it's cheap anyway, and she's going to agree to it. Why? Because she's interested in you anyway. It's just kind of like, that's a good idea. Coffee at the grocery store, or at least in the Netherlands, because they have that, or coffee at the train station. If they're not going to agree to that, she didn't care anyway. No, honestly, she didn't care anyway. It's just going to have an attitude about it, whatever. But that's how you filter that out, where it's like the girls who just want to be sure you're not some psychopath, but are genuinely interested, will go with the coffee at the train station, whatever. Because they're going to be like, it's a public place, it's low investment, that way I can see it's not an idiot. So I kind of reassist on that. Plus it filters out the um, provider, I don't even know what to call it, because there are chicks out there who genuinely want that guy who swooth them, sorry to say, but those are not the women I'm looking for, where it's like, no, 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 you're not going to get that until like a year in, something like that. And even then, I'm going to be hesitant about the whole let's go to dinner thing. <laughs> but by then, she'll know me. Hmm? Here's been my experience. <clears throat> I've had a, a few women that showed up. You? But you're yeah. five foot four. Right. Yeah, I'm just making shit up now because I'm alpha male. Ah, we all have an OnlyFans addiction. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. I've had women show up sight unseen other than pictures okay hmm. walk okay. into my house go up my stairs go into my bedroom and me too i've also had women that kind of did what you said they want to make sure that i'm not a fucking weirdo so i invited them over and i'm like look there's no pressure and there wasn't this isn't a line this isn't a you know a script to me, I'm like, there's no pressure. You know, do, if do, you do, if do, you want to come over, come over. If you don't, don't. But this is where I'm going to be. I've had women come over. And yeah, that first, that first visit, they didn't do shit. Okay, nothing happened. We didn't have sex. We didn't do anything. We just talked. Now, I'm looking at it going, you're kind of funny, girls, because... If I was that, you know, skin wearing, shallow grave digging kind of guy, you'd be fucked because you're already in my house. And they knew it too. They knew it too that it's like, yeah, if you were really an axe murderer, I'd be fucked. And not in a good way. But they, they had to tell themselves I'm not a slut. They had to make sure I'm not a spurg. And when they realized, wow, he's really... He's really not making a move. He's really not pressuring me. He's not expecting anything. Then sometimes it evolved. Sometimes they went home. I talked to them. The next time they came over, which was a day or two later, then we had sex. Okay. When you are desireless to go off of the Tao of Steve, which is rule number one, be desireless. Which doesn't mean you're not horny. It doesn't mean you don't like sex and you don't want sex, but you're not attached to the outcome. Eh, it's either going to happen with her, or it's going to happen with this one, or it's going to happen with that one over there. It's going to happen eventually, so fuck it. You don't worry about it. Mm -hmm. And women will pick up on that, just like the Venezuelan girl last night. She knew what the potential was. But I also was like, if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. I want to have, I want to have steak. I want to eat a steak. Mm -hmm. I would like feminine company. But if she doesn't show up, that's cool. That's just more for later for the weekend. If she does and we don't have sex, that's fine too. I'm still enjoying the company because that's what I wanted. Uh, guess what? I got all of it. So, guys, figure it out. What do you want? 
don't worry about what alpha chad uh you know alpha you know or uh, uh what's the other one ryan likes to do guys in the chat help me out here migtow 40 you know four oh migtow 42069 yeah that guy don't worry about what migtow 42069 has to say don't even worry about what Tanner Guzzi is telling you that, you know, you got to wear Under Armour fucking designer uh, shirts. I, I, I was exaggerating a bit. I know, but it's the same idea. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's the same concept because that's their idea. That's their code. That's their thing. Is it yours? You know, it comes back to who is we. Exactly. I think that's a nice thing point to end way to on. wrap it up yeah yeah what do you want figure that out okay shout out to all the members justin s mish curve much okay wait 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 one breath right get it all in one here we go and justin s mish curve much captain kabao jean simone peter from austria ian s shrike mish governor megatron riley paul Phil Henry, Paul Union Spiegel, Chris is Black, Ryan Chung, JD Horden, Jico, John Wattsworth, Cal Marlin, Alex Dante, Tempest, Alex Moff, Andrew S. Alpha Slot, Chad Elkins, MPC, Competent Bank, Greenlight, Derek L. Andy Lee, Ethan, Ethan Sevilla, Goddamn Bacon, Timius Maximus, Suleiman the Magnificent, Atom Will, Red Crusader, Judd Grover, and Nonstop Dre. Boom. Thank you. Thank you for all the members and the support. Please hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't. And if you want to support the channel, you can click the join button where we have weekly Q and A's. Also, I have a monthly consultation group where everything fitness related is being discussed. We will help you grow stronger, lose fat and gain weight. If you want to, we even have those form checks, you name it. You can go there here. And comment down below what your thoughts were of this show. Let me know. Let Rob know. What is it you want? And is it something you want or somebody else laid upon you? Rob, take us out. Hang on. Before I take us out. Mm -hmm. Sunday. So. Oh, yeah. Now, March 6th at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The Salt Lake sit down. We're having the third and final part. Me and Chest <laughs> Rockwell. We're going to finish up where we were talking about long term relationships that we did a few weeks ago. Mm. There's a few more points that he wanted to add. There's going to be a couple of things I want to add. And it's going to be a QA where you get to ask us. But in my own opinion, you're going to be asking Chest. Okay. So bring your questions. Now, don't be a moron. Don't be a fucking spurg. Don't be an idiot. Going, how do I get the girls? Okay. Don't be doing that stupid shit. Okay. Chest is a busy man. He's willing to entertain your questions. And there's been some on the Discord that I thought were pretty good. So we'll be addressing those. Okay. Bring your questions. Be serious about it in that respect, guys. But we'll answer them to the best of our ability. Okay? So, that is March 6th at 2 p.m. My channel. So, check it out. So, just go to robsays.net. Oh. And shout yeah. out to Andrew S. for the meme. Coffee at Starbucks. It's normal only. brain. Coffee at the grocery store, engaged brain. Coffee at the train station, evolving brain. Coffee at the hot dog stand, expanding brain. Coffee at the homeless shelter, nirvana. Peak, peak enlightenment. <laughs> at the is. homeless shelter. <laughs> oh my Absolutely. God. I will bet you, I will bet your ass homeless people get laid more than your peak masculinity alpha guru on Twitter. Dude, I guarantee you they do. Take because us out. Take fuck. us out. Take us yeah. out. Tossies. <laughs>